In today's video, we'll dive deep into Samsung's One UI 7, which is based on Android 15. This next big update is packed with exciting features and improvements that will enhance user experience. One of the standout upgrades revolves around the Smart Select feature, and we'll be breaking it all down for you. So without further ado, let's get started. For those unfamiliar, One UI is Samsung's custom user interface built on Android, offering a unique experience on Samsung devices. One UI 7 is Samsung's latest iteration, based on Android 15 and promises to bring a range of new features, enhance usability, and a more polished design to their devices. The Smart Select feature is one area that's getting a significant overhaul with One UI 7.0. For those who frequently use this tool to copy, share, or even create GIFs from images, you'll be happy to hear that Samsung is making this process quicker and more intuitive. One of the key updates is that Samsung will now introduce a standard selection area for Smart Select, making it more user-friendly and allowing users to navigate the feature more easily. This has been a much requested update based on user feedback, and Samsung is now focusing on making Smart Select not only quicker, but also more efficient. Another exciting development is that Samsung is working on a flexible menu for the Smart Select feature. According to a community moderator, this new menu will automatically adjust based on what the user selects. This means if you're selecting an area with text, for example, you might see a quick option to copy the text or even create a GIF if you're working with an image. Samsung's goal is to enhance the convenience of this feature, making it even more powerful and adaptable to whatever content you're dealing with. Samsung has faced some challenges in creating a fixed shortcut interface that can automatically provide options like text copying or GIF creation. However, they're actively working on solutions to improve these features, ensuring that One UI 7.0 will offer a smoother and more intuitive experience. One key improvement you can look forward to is automatically recommended selection areas when using Smart Select. This will save users valuable time, especially when you're in a rush and don't want to manually adjust the selection. By making this process more automated, Samsung aims to boost the overall efficiency of the feature. Now let's talk about the visuals. Along with the Smart Select upgrades, One UI 7.0 is rumored to bring a fresh look to several key apps, such as the camera, gallery, and internet. Most recently, a new icon for the Galaxy Store appeared online. A tipster known as a Krokoro shared a low-resolution image of the new icon on X, formerly Twitter. Shortly after, another leaker reposted the same design in high resolution, giving us a closer look. The new Galaxy Store icon features a shopping bag with a dynamic handle against a circular background. This subtle design tweak is just one example of the visual updates we can expect in One UI 7, and it's likely that Samsung will roll out similar changes across its entire suite of apps. Now, let's discuss the timeline for One UI 7.0. Samsung is still developing One UI 7, and the beta program has not yet been launched. However, we have exciting news. Samsung has officially announced the Samsung Developer Conference 2024, which will take place on October 3. It is a win for all users. We're excited to see what Samsung has in store for us with the official launch of One UI 7. That's it for today's video. If you enjoyed the content and want to stay updated on all things mobile tech, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Also, leave your thoughts down in the comments section. What features are you most excited about in One UI 7? Let me know. As always, see you in the next video. We've got some exciting news about Samsung's upcoming foldable smartphones. If you're a tech enthusiast, you're definitely going to want to stick around for this one. We're talking about the highly anticipated Galaxy Z Fold 6 series, and more specifically, the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra, which is rumored to be coming to China and Korea. Let's dive right in. Among the many Galaxy Z Fold 6 models that are currently in development in Samsung's labs, the one that has everyone buzzing is the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra. Now, if you're familiar with Samsung's ultra-branded smartphones, you know they are designed to be the best of the best, offering high-end features and cutting-edge technology. While the standard Galaxy Z Fold 6 is expected to bring some minor incremental upgrades, all eyes are undoubtedly on the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra. However, here's the catch. The Ultra isn't expected to get a global release. But don't worry, it seems this powerhouse of a device won't be restricted to just Samsung's home country, South Korea. According to the folks over at Android Headlines, the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra could also be launching in China. This is particularly interesting because it seems the rumored Galaxy Z Fold 6 Slim which we've been hearing about with its slimmer body, bigger displays, and larger battery, might actually be the Chinese variant of the Fold 6 Ultra. If this is true, it would clear up some of the confusion we've seen in recent weeks about how many models Samsung is actually working on. It might just be two. The Galaxy Z Fold 6 and the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra, the Ultra, limited to Korea and China for now, would allow Samsung to gauge interest levels before potentially bringing it to a wider audience. 
In China, the Z Fold 6 Ultra may be sold as the Samsung Go 25 complete with unique visual touches like decorative engravings on the hinge, similar to previous Samsung Gilly smartphones. And here's another interesting tidbit. China might also get the Galaxy Z Flip 6 as the W25 Flip. This is speculative at this point, but it aligns with rumors that Samsung is also working on a Galaxy Z Flip 6 Slim. Now, unfortunately, there isn't a lot of detailed information about what exactly the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra will offer compared to the Z Fold 6, this is probably because the Ultra model isn't launching alongside the standard model, but we can expect more details to emerge once the standard Galaxy Z Fold 6 goes official at Samsung's Galaxy Unpacked event next month. Samsung's Galaxy Unpacked events are always full of surprises and we can't wait to see what they have in store for us this time. Will the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra live up to the hype? Will it bring groundbreaking features that set apart from the standard model? Only time will tell. To be an upgrade. While rumors suggest a larger display and a slimmer design, the lack of S Pen support might be a deal breaker for some users. Ross Yanon also mentioned that production for the Z Fold 6 Ultra's display panels might begin later this year, with a launch expected in January alongside the Galaxy S25. This staggered release makes sense. It avoids competing with the July launch of the regular Fold 6 and keeps the Ultra exclusive to South Korea for now, which might frustrate international buyers. Speaking of launches, rumors suggest the next Galaxy Unpacked event might be happening on July 10th in Paris, France. However, Tipster E-Leak's list of expected reveals didn't include the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra. Does this mean no Fold 6 Ultra this year? Probably not. E-Leak's list might only include devices long leaked photo a few days ago, looks a bit cheap and out of place on a flagship smartphone expected to cost over $1,500. The device in the picture also appears to be wider than the current Galaxy Z Fold models, suggesting that Samsung is increasing the display size. However, the screens won't be significantly bigger. Samsung is reportedly saving the major display size upgrade for the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra and Galaxy Z Fold 6 Slim models, which are rumored to launch alongside the standard Z Fold 6 this year. Now, let's move to the front. The first hands-on image of the Galaxy Z Fold 6 has leaked and reveals that Samsung has finally listened to Galaxy Z Fold users. The new foldable phone will feature a wider cover screen compared to the Galaxy Z Fold 5. Reliable tipster Ice Universe shared this full image showing the front of the device and comparing it to the Galaxy Z Fold 5. As you can see, the upcoming foldable phone will have a wider cover screen that matches the width of the Galaxy Z Fold 5's cover screen plus one of its bezels. This wider cover screen should improve the typing experience on the Galaxy Z Fold 6 and resolve aspect ratio issues in some apps and games. The new foldable also appears to have much sharper corners for both the body and the cover screen. A tipster shared a photo that seems to show a new camera module for the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6. Although the leak only indicates that the camera module will feature a new design, it's doubtful Samsung would implement a design change without also upgrading the camera hardware. Here we have the first look at the new Galaxy Z Fold 6 outer display. A Twitter user named Ali recently shared a render comparing it to the Galaxy Z Fold 5. According to Ali, the new outer display features a boxier design and a slimmer hinge, significantly enhancing a Fold 6's overall appearance. The most noticeable difference between the Fold 5 and Fold 6 is the wider cover display. The render clearly shows what do you think about these changes? Are you excited about the wider cover screen and new design? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all the latest tech news. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.